Newly formed political party, African Freedom Party, is today launching their election manifesto at Dalana Hostel in Zanin in Limpopo. The party leader, Roni Shai, says he was part of a group of people that exposed the 15 million rand tender to construct 40 sheikhs in Dalana last year. The special investigating unit's findings revealed that the appointed company tasked with overseeing the project made misrepresentations and forged documents in its application for the tender. Katla Khonyoni and cameraman Llewellyn Carstens are at Dalana Hospital where Shai is launching his manifesto. Third time lucky, Katleho. Let's hope this goes right this time. What is Mr. Shai saying this morning? Good morning, Desiree, and to our viewers as well. We certainly do apologize for the gremlins with our technology. Yes, we are at the controversial Dalana Hostel in Zanini in Limpopo, where a relatively new political party, the African Freedom Party, will be conducting a door-to-door -door campaign and also launching its election manifesto for the November 1st elections. Now, the headlining message of this newly formed party is all about being vocal against corruption as well as the need for quality housing. We know following that widely criticized uh, Dalana housing project estimated at 15 million rand. We saw that it was one of the widely criticized corruption scandals to come out of the Limpopo province. It raised quite a lot of questions around the misappropriation, Desiree, of public funds. Now, this newly formed political party said its leader, Roni Shai, who is also a resident of Dalana, says he was part of a group of of people that went to initially lay a complaint after discovering that each shake here costs about 64,000 rent. Now they then approached the local municipality to officially lay their complaint. It of course cascaded to what we saw emerging before that ribbon cutting ceremony that was highly controversial. Perhaps let's bring Mr. Shai in to elaborate further on what his party stands for and the role that he played. Mr. Shai, good morning. Thank you for being with us today. You are launching your election manifesto in Zalana. You'll also be conducting a door-to-door -door campaign. Perhaps take me through what you'll be doing here today. Yes. Uh, as our manifesto, I'm going to, going to go to door-to-door -door and looking for the people that we are going to help them with service delivery. And as first time, as leader of African Freedom Party, I was not clearly happy about the housing scandal for that checks. And I was not happy because I tried to launch the complaint and ask the price from the municipality to know how much they cost the, into these checks. Then they say for me, each is 64,000. Clearly, even an allocation list for this housing was not failing. So our place have a little bit, a lot of corruptions. And even our people, I have into they put hope on me for housing development to just try to create our life to, to, to be in future. And the thing that the people they want to know and ask, and even it's too good to tell to the listeners, uh, since this municipality establishment year 2000, Talana Hostel didn't get even any budget from the government since right now, after 27 years democracy, Talana didn't get any service delivery. That's why the community they put our hope on us as African Freedom Party, as a last hope in politics. Firstly, is that what inspired you to form the African Freedom Party? And I want you to expand on the role that you personally played in exposing the Talana hostel scandal. Yeah, uh, that one is not the one that they make us to form a political party. Our political party was strictly founded at 2016 as Sanini Freedom Party. Then we write to IEC to amend its our name as a African Freedom Party by using an extra two and four, and it was approved by professional by the chief electoral officer as a African Freedom Party to contest the Mopani district as a five municipality to fight against corruption. Even if you can just little bit see, and the listeners must little bit know. Uh, we, we are the one who fought against the corruption for the water at Palabura Mopani district and uh, the other people even they already arrested so it's clearly and surely African Freedom Party is not the home for corruption and African Freedom Party contested 35 wards around Greater Zanini municipality and also Mopani district and our plan is to fight corruption if the people they are ready to fight corruption then they can vote with us in our local municipalities to hand some to fight corruption. And a little bit, the thing that we know and understand, even at our municipalities, they just 
hire its friends and we have the people that they clean in the road for the construction for roads for cleaning that people they are suffering they earn less than two thousand per month and we request clearly in the municipality to permanent that people as soon as possible that's why i said let's people let's join hands and vote for african freedom party i have hundred percent hope the life of the people will change in our organization Mr. Shai, thank you very much for your time this morning. Desiree, there you have it. That is the leader of the African Freedom Party saying that it was formed in 2016, initially called the, the Zanin Freedom Party. Now, Desiree, just a bit of background. We know that the Special Investigating Unit finalized its report last month in September and it revealed some startling discoveries that um, the company that is linked to this uh, hostel here aventino group forged documents now um it's uh there are suspects that are going to return now to the specialized crimes court on the 3rd of november now that will be two days after the election these are employees of the housing development agency as well as the director there of constance Mochala. now that case will be back before the court desiree on the 3rd of november two days after we cast our votes for the elections Oh, thank you so much for that update and with that we take a break as we chase the top of the next hour.